Well, you may be able to ditch the umbrella soon because that rain is headed on out, but something else is coming on in. Oh, yeah. And something else that's coming on in is going to be a lot bigger, too. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be the wind through the area and everything that goes with it. it, it really tidal flooding. Uh, we could see some of that coming up by Saturday. Here's what's going on with the rain. It's exiting the region. It's been relatively light. It's been around a quarter of an inch for most of us. Uh, it was sprinkled kind of off and on during the morning and then during the afternoon. Once we hit one o'clock, it was pretty steady, but relatively light. Uh, so it wasn't a huge rainfall for the area. A little bit more into North Carolina, and there's a little bit more going on right now. Here's where after the Hampton Roads cities, you see the farther north that you go, the lighter the rain is and really has been. But farther southward toward the Ahoski area, <coughs> pardon me, southeast of here, we are seeing some rainfall that is a little bit more moderate. That's going to continue to work its way on eastward toward Elizabeth City, but it should come to an end here in the next several hours. I want to show you the bigger picture. The wind is going to end up dominating our weather. There's a low pressure area here. It's going to swing on eastward. Nothing real, real big at first, but then it's going to explode into being uh, south of Cape Cod during the overnight hours and first thing tomorrow. And it'll kick in with a very, very strong westerly wind at first, and then more of a northwest, then northerly wind coming up by Saturday. So by Saturday, we could see some tidal flooding into the area. So rain's moving out. We don't worry about that anymore. I know there's nothing much to worry about. The wind, though, that'll really pick up even by tomorrow morning. A west wind at 34 miles an hour, 26, 29 miles an hour. These are steady winds, continuing winds for several minutes. And then occasionally they'll pop on up even higher than that, likely to 50 or over by 11 o'clock in the morning. Now here's where we are at 11 o'clock in the morning. You know the purple colors and the red colors. That's the, those are the strongest winds. We'll still see some wind gusts who are around tropical storm force in inland areas for the day tomorrow. Here's where we are by the uh, 7 o'clock hour on uh, Saturday morning. 34 mile an hour winds. Winds are still strong near the coast uh, and near the bay. But by the end of the day, winds are dropping off pretty steadily on Saturday for inland areas near the coastline, still around 30 miles an hour, even into Sunday morning. And then by the end of the day on Sunday, those winds should drop off considerably. Now, what I've got here is Virginia Beach. And I've got all the wind gusts by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning uh, through the region. I just put this together real specially just to give you an idea. So even inland, well, inland, those are uh, wind gusts. 40 miles an hour is a uh, tropical storm. Well, it's going to be 41, 51 miles an hour, 58 miles an hour farther up the bay, 51 miles an hour tomorrow evening at 730. 10 o'clock, 50 mile an hour winds. And by Saturday, it drops off a little bit, but still tropical storm force winds and a northerly wind coming down the bay. And that means it's going to punch the tides up uh, for the day coming up on Saturday and likely to Sunday as well. The tidal uh, forecasts haven't come out yet uh, for Sunday, but all through the way through Saturday, it looks like we'll see minor tidal flooding, perhaps even nuisance tidal flooding tomorrow evening. Minor tidal flooding by Saturday morning. Saturday evening at around 1030, moderate tidal flooding. We haven't seen that in a while for the area. So rain ends by at least around 10 o'clock tonight. Winds will increase overnight and they'll gust to around 50 near the shoreline, around 40 uh, farther inland. Very windy day coming up for tomorrow. Gusting to about 60 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour inland, 40 to 50 miles an hour inland. And then Saturday, a slight lessening of the wind. But we'll still see that tide around 10 o'clock in the morning and 1030 uh, during the nighttime hour. So here's what we've got going on. Temperatures 54 uh, to 57 degrees into the area. And of course, we've got that rain into the region. Well, that rain should come to an end and the wind is going to be the big story. Wind and tides coming up by Saturday, likely into Sunday as well. Temperatures remain on the cool side into the low to mid 50s.